Amina Tajar is a technology speaker with a remarkable background from artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, 3D stimulation to blockchains. He's founder of artificial intelligence company called Infiniteware. He also became a content creator on social media. Hello and welcome to our studio today. Thanks for having so, me. So, tell us, how did you think of creating Infiniteware? Yeah, so we started maybe uh, 12 years ago. It was actually a game development business. It, okay. was, uh, it was called Engine Technology. So Engine is a very sacred word in the, in the game development mm -hmm. business. And uh, yeah, after a while we pivoted to just focus on artificial intelligence since this is the thing that we do really good. Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, we, we got a couple of clients here and there and then we started building our own products, which was really cool because in my humble opinion, products scale, services don't. Yes, that is true. That is very <laughs> true. Yeah, so that was really interesting. And I think it was a, it's a really humble and journey and a, in a beautiful one, at least on a personal level, I would um, say. Yeah, but I like how you guys went from gaming to something completely different. Yeah, you, you got to pivot every now and then. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it's just it don't like overdo it. it was like a trial and error. Let me, let's go from gaming, but no, let's go to something completely <laughs> different field. But it's something, it's something amazing because it's not something that we actually have a yeah. lot of in Bahrain yeah. as well. So this is one of the things that we started. Um, actually, before starting the business, uh, I had the community uh, here in Bahrain. It was called okay. Bahrain Game Developers. Okay. Around 2012, when I came back from the States, a it was really challenging because when I started here, I, I was I wanted to have a you know a sort of a gathering with you know uh, geeky friends. You know. Yeah, about yeah. That every we all have the same interests as well. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But it was extremely hard because. It's not a common thing. You've got gamers, but not game developers. Yes, correct. And people were really scared, uh, you know, when it comes to just showing up. Yeah. And, and but it was really interesting because now when I compare Bahrain now against like. 12 or 10 years, years ago, ago, it's a completely different story now. Yeah, of course, uh, everyone has to prove some way or another. Yeah, yeah and you have to grow. And like you said, you have to pivot from this to this, so it Definitely. comes different. Yeah, of course. Um, so you make videos on social media about artificial intelligence. Yes. Is it a rare content, uh, content Yanni? Is it something very different? It's very different in the Arabic world, I'll say. Yeah. Thing is, uh, the content of that sort in the English world, like if you go on YouTube and you write artificial intelli intelligence, you're gonna get like a, a dozen results. Uh, you're gonna, of course, yeah. yeah, it doesn't. F uh, it it's something big in the outside world. It's exactly, but in the in this part of the world, I feel that there's a huge need to bridge that gap and and to do it in a slang way, you know, yeah. in a very traditional slash classic way. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so awesome. If people connect better, because for a very long time, there there's been this taboo that. Tech subjects are very difficult and they're for basically the geeky kind. Yeah, and people think it, they can't understand it, but no, yes. of course you can. When you, yeah. But when you break it down, you know, in its really basic terms, it's very simple it's to understand. Simple. Even like when AI, AI on the outside, like if you just hear it, you feel like, oh, this is black magic. Yeah. Well, True. when you really break it down, it's just a couple of algorithms doing really a great job. Yeah. How did you decide to do it? How did you decide to come and actually go on Instagram and talk about this? Yeah, so I do a lot of talks, a lot of talks. Uh, I do train central banks. Uh, I do train a lot of banks, board of directors and banks. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I do train them on artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, machine learning, these you know, trendy topics for them to build a business out of it. Now, the problem that I had is that these, uh, you know, these elements are not so up to my standard because yeah. basically you got a lecture, you got a workshop that you have to do. But with my content, I can rely on the you know, the graphics that I want to use, you know, the way I want to present it. Because yeah, the I way you want to make it, want to make it interesting for people. Exactly. So you get to play with that as well. And I do a lot of comedy. So yeah. when you see my shows, there's a definitely a joke inside. Yeah, okay, somewhere. so you're going to laugh anyway. <laughs> it's not like a very serious, it's like you have cool. to listen all the time, 24-7. It's attention. very funny and it's yeah. in Arabic. And uh, I think that's what people are interested in. They yeah. want to connect, they want to feel authentic, and they want to basically have fun. And they're connecting on a simpler way. You're making it actually sim yeah, more yeah. simple for people to exactly. understand. Exactly. Like you said, everybody looks at it as the geeky type of thing, yeah, but it's, yeah. it's not. <laughs> um, how would you say that artificial intelligence can improve a business? Uh, on definitely on many fronts. So for example, if you are a business that, uh, that focuses on computer vision, imagine you're doing a safety business, and this is the kind of work that we have with the government. Yeah. Imagine you have a oil company and you want to detect if people are you know, uh, basically uh, smoking cigarettes on the outside and that somehow can damage the business or, Correct. you know, it's probably a hazard. With machine learning, we can have the capability to really tell on spot from the video, even if the video is not clear. So okay. this is one of the use cases that we built for some of our customers. And, you know, you can go for miles if you want, but even like uh, in the financial space and uh, the entrepreneurship space as well. So the beautiful thing about artificial intelligence is that 
it is a horizontal layer. Okay. There's uh, so many things that you can build on top of it. So many shared characteristics that, can, that you yeah, can use. Yeah, it's not just artificial intelligence. Yeah. There's more to it that people just need yeah. to learn about it to understand it. However, the key element in all of that is having data. Yeah. Clean data. Yeah. And th this is the thing that we normally you know, spend a lot of time and when we go to a customer. A lot of people believe it's just a plug and play component. Yeah. But the reality is you have to understand how their infrastructure is operating. Um, you know, even financial institutions, they suffer big time because they have the data, but sometimes it's not clean. It's not clean and it's not, yeah, yeah it's not understandable as well, if you could put Very it that true. way. Very yeah. true. Yeah. There's so many different things that you don't realize the different factors that's behind all of it. I can tell that you have personal stories. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, maybe a little bit. Okay. Maybe I've, I've heard a few. Okay. Um, what would you say is the future of technology and artifi artificial intelligence in Bahrain itself? Yeah, so in Bahrain, I think it's pretty exciting because AI on its own is a very uh, advanced field and yeah. it spans so many disciplines. You've got math, you've got technology, uh, like as in software. And these things are the things that we excel in, yeah. Bahrainis, for example. And it doesn't take a lot of capital, at least in the tangible space. So it's not like a factory where you have to spend a lot of money getting yeah. equipment and then you know starting a business. Here, just like with game development, it's just you know being really good at your craft and then building a business model, a you know a uh, profitable business model out of it. And I think we have the caliber. I've seen it with my own eyes. The thing that I want to focus on, though, is you know the government is doing a great job. Yeah. Nobody can deny that. However, focus is the thing that I want to really focus on. <laughs> focus on. That's a, that's the a future you want. You want like I need to focus on this. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. I do. Of yeah, course, there are some parts that need a bit more focus than yeah, what exactly. they realize. So yeah, look, even when we're talking about government initiative, it's so cool having the liquidity and subsidy all over the place, but yeah. sometimes you want to focus on where you might really excel. And Correct. technology is one of those elements. Uh, one of those elements. And of course, with the pandemic as well, technology is just oh, yeah, don't get gone me started. from nothing to <laughs> everywhere else. Like it's, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. So especially for you guys, you've seen that as well, how it's changed yeah, yeah. so exactly. quickly. Yeah, content yeah. creation, software, you know, you get to have, you know, the uh, basically the time and effort to really to focus and yeah. re reflect again. What would you say is your future plans, especially for Infinitoware? Sure, so I'm a big fan of creating products and I always uh, like I always have this conversation with my wife. It's about creating things that are really important and must have rather than just having things nice to have. Yeah, it's 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 a it should be more of a need than a want. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's spot on. Yeah. And so I, I feel like in here in Bahrain, maybe Bahrain is a really cool benchmark to start things maybe and then you can take things outside, but I would always create an, an AI product that can bridge the gap and give more bandwidth to, you know, fellow human beings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in the corporate world. But yeah. I feel that there's a lot of bandwidth being wasted on repetitive stuff. Things like sending an email, things that you can just automate. And the machine is so much better than you when it comes to that. Yeah, of course. And it's, and it's clear and it's automatic and direct. Yeah. Us, it's like, okay, let's type yeah, this email and then things. send. And then, yeah, like you <laughs> said, they're made for these things. Yeah, so getting that capacity back is the way to go because you can really focus on what matters yeah. to you. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I completely agree with that. And hopefully the future, maybe we never know what's going to be next. Yeah, machines, gonna I think, are going to... That's part of the fun. Yeah, that's part of the fun. They're going to be taking over <laughs> yeah. a lot of things. <laughs> um, is there any message you'd like to tell our viewers today? Yeah, maybe I want to end up on the notion of just really get your literacy up on data because this is where the future is heading yeah you want to understand how to manipulate data maybe get your skills in excel you know or tableau or power bi one of those tools and just uh, i mean have ai somehow embedded in your core dna whether yeah. you're a business or an ngo it doesn't matter after all but this is where the way uh this is the way you know things are changing and you don't want to miss the bus yeah this uh, this is the future thank you i mean for that this is the future that we're all actually going to be following yeah. soon sooner or later <laughs> it's gonna happen it's gonna happen one day <laughs> sure. thank you i mean my pleasure viewers stay tuned we'll be right back